What's up everybody? This is a, just a quick video just showing you guys how to do a clean install of Reshade version 2. That's in my first post. Um, Reshade version 2 uses Reshade 3.0, which version 1 used only basically sweet effects. So that's why you can just drag and drop those original files from version 1 right into your game directory and it worked. Version 2, you can do the same thing, but some people have been having issues because it comes with like a configuration file. So instead of doing that, I'm going to show you guys just how to do a clean install. So the first thing you want to do is hit that download link and download the Resave version 2. It should come with a zip file. When you download that zip file, go ahead and unzip that folder. Um, the folder that comes out should say uh, Resave version 2. Um, once you have that on your desktop, go ahead and find the Madden your Madden game directory. The easiest way you can do it is just by, if you have the Madden um, shortcut on your desktop, if you right click on that, go to Open File Location. It should automatically take you right into the game directory. Uh, once you're here, go ahead and open up that Reshade version two folder that you unzip, and you can you can basically put them side by side. I know that the aspect ratio may be a little bit weird because I'm playing on a widescreen monitor. I have a widescreen monitor set up, so um, I know this ultra wide may look a little weird, but <clears throat> hopefully it's good enough for you guys to see it. Uh, once you have that folder open, go ahead and copy everything in this folder. Do a copy and in your game directory, you're going to go ahead and just paste it. Once you have everything pasted, you can go ahead and close that reshape version 2 folder out. Taylor, what is you playing with? All right, my bad. My daughter's playing with toys. All right, once you have that pasted in, go back to your game directory. Um, once you're in here, go ahead and find a file that says reshade.ini. We're going to go ahead and delete that out that is what's causing issues so after we go ahead and delete that out we're gonna go ahead and find the reshade underscore setup underscore 3.41.exe and we're gonna go ahead and run this file uh, yeah windows trying to protect me uh, once that opens up it's gonna come up with a thing that says select game this is basically gonna tell it's basically gonna select what uh, directory is gonna install reshade in so we're gonna go ahead and select the game just go ahead and choose med19.exe hit open now you have to choose what version of DirectX the game is using go ahead and select uh, uh, DirectX 10 and then you're gonna ahead and hit do you want to overwrite the existing installation you can go ahead and say yes it's gonna ask you do you wish to download the uh, shaders say yes it'll go to 100% all the shaders will be selected hit OK once you hit OK, it'll say succeeded at the top. Go ahead and hit edit reshade settings. That's what they do next. <laughs> All right, once you get here, we're going to go ahead and select the preset. The preset already came loaded into the reshade version 2 folder. So go ahead and hit this little square over here with the three dots. It should take you right to that folder. Go ahead and select madden.ini. Once you hit open, uh, now we're going to go ahead and select uh, uh, this preset to make it active. So select, select this little button that says select active. We're going to drop this down and select Madden I and I. This means that when a, when your game loads up, it's going to automatically load reshade with this preset. Um, if you want to select a certain path where you want to store screenshots, you can, you can select that here. I'm just going to select Madden 19 directory. I don't care. Uh, also check this box that says skip tutorial because we don't need to see that hit OK and then it'll it'll come back to this screen where you can basically hit the edit button again go ahead and X that out once you did that go ahead and open up Madden Taylor what are you doing and you'll notice when Madden is loading up it's gonna load all the effects and everything this is what you should see at the beginning um, after you load it up all right, so the reshade is actually already started. Now the only thing that we need to do is we need to select um, the scroll key that's going uh, the toggle key that's basically going to enable and disable reshade. So what you'll want to do is go ahead and hit Shift and F2, and it'll open up this little menu. Once you open up this menu, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the settings button at the top, settings tab. And here we're going to select our toggle key. So I typically use scroll lock, but you can use whatever you want. You can use pause break, and it's kind of up to you. Um, just go ahead and click in the field and select the button. So I'm going to select scroll lock. Uh, some other stuff down here. 
if you wanted to change what type of screenshots you want to take um, you can do a uh, bitmap or you can do PNG um, dollars or settings it tells you the screenshot button if you want to change that and where the screenshots are saved after you do that go ahead and hit home and then hit the X button at the top now scroll lock should enable and disable reshade so as you can see I don't know if you can tell but it's getting lighter and darker when I hit scroll lock that's basically it now when you go ahead and load up man automatically it should go ahead and start with the preset already loaded but if you have any issues you can always shift and F2 to bring up the menu or just hit scroll lock to enable and disable reshade.